the exact answer he has trained himself to give. Cooper Davis, meanwhile, is going to make his own history right here against Chocolate Shake. Yeah, and I don't think Marchie could have made a bad pick out of any of the three. But Chocolate Shake shakes everything up. That's the first time Cooper Davis has looked well, human, Ty. Yeah, and you know, we've been talking about riding the, the up and down, and you see Cooper, he kind of gets raised up. He doesn't really leave there the way he'd like to, so he's into his hand. He knows he needs to get to the left, and he forgets about the jump and just tries to fall over there. And as Justin always calls it, cut one off. It doesn't work when it's on these rank ones. You've got to be forward on the jump. You've got to keep riding the jump and kick. That makes the direction easy. Two riders still to go, but a quick reminder, if all three of these men buck off in round four, they would all come back for a fifth round. But we're a long way from that scenario. Next up, Jose Vitor Lemmy against Macabull that's really just starting to make his own way, at least at this level, Budokan. Yeah, but I don't care what the bull is right now for this guy. And I would have said that about all three of them coming into this round because they all are riding at their very best right now. It doesn't look to me, Ty, like you could pick out a bull where you would bet against Jose. I wouldn't bet against any of these three guys. I feel like that was one that really got away from Cooper Davis. I felt like he didn't leave the shoot the way he would like to. These next two guys, they're on fire. All three of these guys are on fire. I expect big things from this guy because we've never seen him fail in Las Vegas. Budokan would beg to differ. The Bulls continue to be just a little bit better. And Lemmy adds his name to the list of those bucked off in round four. Man, and, and we've already seen him ride some Bulls similar to this. Big scores from that Bull. Almost 46. I mean, he just gets beat, you know? He's rank bull after rank bull after rank bull. They keep running him under you. Guys, I know we're in Las Vegas, the entertainment capital of the world, and the script could not have been written any better, Ty. Our two-time defending last Cowboy standing has been slotted against the one and only Jack Shot. This is the eighth time that these two have met. The last two times they've come together have been qualified right. This is a super big chance for Kaiki. Here's the thing that he can't let happen. You can't say all I've got to do is ride him. That's, that's the worst thing you can do. That's like clamping down the last two seconds of the ride. He needs to, in his mind right now, pretend like he's the chaser and he's got to go after it. I would be pretending like Cooper Davis was just 90 points if I was him right now. He can't lock down. The sudden death format has made it ever so simple. Eight seconds from now, Kaiki Pacheco could be our winner. If he bucks off, all three move on to the final round of the evening. He knows exactly what Jack Shot is going to do. in the process, will it be enough to catapult him to number one in the world like it did two seasons ago? You just cannot say enough about the turnaround Kaiki Pacheco has had in the past few weeks. I'm so glad you brought that up because it'd be real easy to just think of oh, this guy's had a great season all year long. No, he has struggled a lot for this guy at the beginning of the season, but he turned it around, and now he's turned it around in a big way. The biggest win of the season for Pacheco. This was outstanding. It comes at the hands of Jack Shot Ty, a foe that he has now ridden five out of eight times. This one goes for 88 and a half points, and the celebration not only has begun, but will continue late into the night. Let's send it to Leah.